Today I'm going to be talking about Cole's fracture. The mechanism of injury is fall on outstretched hand, F-O-O-S-H, which is also what we call FUSH. And there is a transverse fracture of the radius just above the wrist, and also dorsal displacement of the distal fragment. The most common risk factor is an elderly lady who has underlying osteoporosis. It's more prone to have close fracture when she falls on her outstretched arm. And the clinical features of close fracture depends on um, whether the bone is undisplaced or displaced. So if undisplaced, they might present with wrist pain, tenderness over the distal radius, swelling and some deformity. Whereas for displaced fracture, we can see dinner fork deformity, where the arm looks like a dinner, dinner fork shape, where there is dorsal tilt just above the wrist. For treatment of undisplaced fracture, you can do dorsal splint for 1-2 to two, two days until the swelling resolves, and also put on cast until the fracture is stable. Whereas for displaced fracture, you can do manipulation and reduction under anesthesia. That's all for my video, thank you.